Hey guys, Trish Christian here today with and we're back with Stranger Things episode 4. So the last episode was a fantastic one. I'm about to think, like, technically, this is halfway already through season 1 because there's only 8 episodes. So, mate, we're already getting into the thick of it pretty quickly. Um, yeah, but no, I really enjoyed last episode. I like how we sort of got to learn more about what the, where you go after the monster kills you, which is into that weird mindscape sort of area, which is pretty cool. Will's body was shown up at the end. I like the whole, like, um, the mum was following the lights and Will was sort of, like, hiding in the mindscape area, but it's still in the normal world. So I've got, like, a Freddy Krueger vibe where, like, you get pulled into a dream world. Physical, but you, uh, you can't be seen, which is pretty interesting. Or something like that. I'm sure we learn more as the show goes on. Really love the kids just hanging out more and getting to know each other. Elle being pretty this being pretty savage, learning more about her past when she fucking destroys those two fucking scientists. That was fucking awesome. But yeah, no, really saw the last episode. Really saw been really saw the first three episodes. I've not felt bored watching this. Like I uh, don't feel like the pacing's too slow, it's going perfectly fine. Um I'm getting a lot of story, a lot of questions get answered, but as long as the new ones get appearing. But so far, very pace role play series, and I'm enjoying how it's going, and I can't wait to see how this is gonna end the first season and lead into the second. But hey, let's just but best way to find it is just watch. So feel free to like and subscribe, guys. We're doing this two times a week. Let's get into it. Oh, she's gonna feel so like. See, I'm curious about the body though. Like, did he die just then as she contacted him, and then his body showed up, or was it? Um... Mate, she's gonna break down. Oh, she's gonna seem so crazy. Oh yeah, you can relate to it, Carney. Made this guy. I like how he's not just like treating her like she's insane, but he's trying to try and relate to it with his own situation as best as he can. I feel so sorry for Elle. <laughs> to can actually do it wrong. Oh, fuck off, mate. Come on. Mom. Fucking hell. <laughs> I got me a little bit there. <laughs> Mission started. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Hard to be annoying. <laughs> the fellowship. Wait, Will's going to be like Gandalf. He's going to come back stronger and be Gandalf the White. Because they, they, they did show the picture of them in the fellowship. Oh, the government faked his body to stop. So they would stop investigating. So they would stop investigating into the monster. Okay. Okay. I, d I forgot about the government being a thing. They definitely planned that, planted that body, so he's not dead. Well, his body's not dead anyway, so his body's still around. Whoa, she's realised he's a selfish brick. Oh my god. Nancy. Mom, you get it? Like, like Professor X. <laughs> you in this crap? I don't know, I mean, do you remember when Will fell off his bike and broke his finger? He sounded a lot like that. <laughs> I don't know why he relates that to him. <laughs> Fucking Dustin's a legend. That wasn't Will Wood's body, boy. Wait, are they gonna dress him off? Fuck's sake. Why is he. Can he even do makeup? I don't know if I'd just go through his sister's things. I bet they laugh so much trying to do that scene. It'd be so. The sky is 100. Oh, he's going into the mindscape area. I, keep, I, I don't know what the name of it's for, called. Oh, 
They're just going to have a snack route when they come out. The brown current ran swift, I heard, not John F. Kennedy. I love how he just looks into everything. This guy's a fucking G. Cops MVP of this whole show. Well, I hope he, I hope he does not steps into too much. Oh yeah, she's already been on the outside, has she? <laughs> the fucking bike looks exhausted. <laughs> No, just a great acting. <laughs> I get it. I do. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> okay, see it there. Oh, is it above her? Man's left another son. He's a prick anyway. Oh shit. He's gonna be screaming in a sec. <laughs> He's gone, mate. Shepard's dead. Shepard's dead, I think. <laughs> It's just going to be the hog. Ooh. Oh, why do I feel like Eleven's going to savage him? Mate, Eleven's going to savage them. Oh, she's going to savage them. <laughs> They're going to get their just desserts. <laughs> I'm hot to see him get beat up. Flying around with all the other little kids. Oh, all these kids just want to get beat. <laughs> oh, triggered. Go on, stand up for your friend. Oh, is he actually going to hot attack him? Oh, Mike! Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Joking. Oh. Wrecked. No, they're acting from that kid. <laughs> Troy wrecked. <laughs> when his friend's got nothing to do with him. <laughs> what a dick. Do you have money for this, mate? It's sad in that funeral is just basically a business for people. Oh, it's going to link it to his mum. What about all of them coming across that sort of realistic conclusions? Like the way they're all connected. It's a bit convenient, obviously, but at least like they're all figuring it out jointly without it just feeling dead. Forced. It's Slender Man. I wonder if that gave it some inspiration. With all that, the Woody City Stone, like the, lan the lanky demon with long arms. I wonder if Slender Man had a bit of inspiration on this. In the so why are you lying to me, man? <laughs> I love this guy, such a ledge. What's your problem, bud? I don't have a problem. I'm just a concerned citizen. Yeah. Well, stick your nose someplace else. The kid is dead. End of story. Mate, he's getting his nose way too deep. I feel so. I don't want him to die because he's such a good character. Probably my favourite character, and I just feel like he's going to get fucked over in all this. I love how he's playing the whole, like, um, the treaty lights shit, but he's playing the only good thing in her life, as per se, to um, get more information so she feel comfortable around him. It's quite a fucked up torture technique, in a way. It is basically to fit in. Who's that? Do we know him? Oh yeah, shit. It's such ex uh, no whole. Oh, okay. So like the infection thing spread around the whole house. Oh, you okay? Oh, 
Fucking hell, I took a fucking hit on it, didn't it? Yeah, look at she just totally destroyed the house. Well, it's gonna be breezy for a while in that house. It's so it's so bad to think that because of this shit. Because I feel like it's like a twenty four episode series. I feel like oh mate, the discovery thing's so quick, but it's like it's only got it's only eight four episodes after this. Well, season one. That's mad. I like how they went with a nice wall paced episode count. Oh, the MVP, mate. What's he up to? I hope you don't, oh, I hope you don't get killed off. Hey, Patty. Hey, uh, Vita, did you? Oh, what the hell are you talking about? I don't work for you, Patty. I feel bad. I meant. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, he's getting too deep. Oh, I'm getting scared for his life here. Oh, mate. He's such a good cop as well. Oh, I hope he don't die. I don't think he's going to die this episode, but he's definitely going to be one of the first guys to die. He's... Oh. Yeah, that's not quite normally. It's a doll. He's discovering too much. I feel like his life's going to get snuffed out. The thing is, we can we can probably defeat like get past the monster, but it's the government that's going to be a problem in the future. Get in, mate. He's carrying this show. I love him. No, everyone's really good in this show. To be fair, another fantastic episode in a row. That was really good. A lot of information. So much information. That episode. I don't even know why it went over my head that the government was behind this. Like, obviously, I guessed. Obviously, I guessed it that it was a government. But I feel like I should have known from the start when they first found the body. But another fantastic episode. I like how Nancy and. Um, Oh, what's the brother's name? The brothers join forces. I think that's a cool combo. Um, and I like how the kids are figuring out stuff. I like what Eleven's doing. I just like how everything's being figured out. Like, it don't feel rushed like they're figuring it out. I feel like they're figuring out a decent space to each of them. Obviously, a bit coincidental that they find out certain information. But apart from that, that's to be expected from TV. The plot's got to move forward somehow. Um, yeah, I really love the kids um, learning about where when and like they're going into the world. And then they see the scientists go into that portal thing um, where we're all stuck at the moment. Um, it's pretty interesting. Other than that, solid episode. I'm glad Nancy's on board now. We're a bit more away from Steve because he's a prick. And the kid getting savage was pretty, body getting savage was pretty funny in this episode as well. But yeah, a fantastic episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Please feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this. And I'll see you next week.